Hello friends, it's Carla, your online doctor with today's Live in 5. Today is Friday, July 24th. It is 5 p.m. As you can see, I am in my car. My phone is resting on my steering wheel, so if it suddenly takes a tumble, well, you'll know what happened. So, the big question going around is, can you get COVID-19 twice? If you watch the news, which I'm doing less and less, these days, there is a new story of someone who was diagnosed with the virus for the second time pretty much every day or every other day, or at least when I watched. As a medical prof professional, my first thought is they never recovered from the virus the first time around because we know we develop immunity to something and then we don't get it again. And for some reason, this virus, which maybe became Low, the numbers went too low, suddenly became active again, and the viral load now is high enough where somebody is testing positive a second time. Now again, I'm not telling you that's what's happening, but that would be my first guess, okay? Again, based on what I know today, this is my opinion at the moment. Okay, or they never developed good enough antibody response or immune response, because antibodies may not be the end all be all for this virus to attack the virus in the first place so when they were re-exposed they their immunity just wasn't sufficient to create an adequate response now I could possibly give you a few more maybe explanations but the truth is we just don't know experts are trying to understand how long people are protected from the virus after they've already recovered Two recent studies, one from China and one from the United Kingdom, found that antibodies that fight against future infections faded within a few months. And we're gonna talk more about immunity next week. The China study found that the neutralizing antibodies faded in eight weeks in both asymptomatic and symptomatic people. The United Kingdom study showed it happened in less time, but the immune response was more durable in patients that had a more severe infection, meaning they had worse symptoms. Now experts are saying that antibodies are not the whole story and that other parts of the immune system might still offer some or a big degree of protection. So stay tuned for next week because I'm going to talk a lot about that. Now based on research from other coronaviruses, experts say immunity may last 6 to 12 months for common cold causing coronaviruses. Now the coronavirus causing MERS resulted in immunity for several years. Research is trying to determine if COVID-19 is more like MERS or more like the common cold coronavirus. So experts at this time are saying it is possible that reinfection may occur so anyone that has recovered should continue to exercise caution, practice social distancing, wear masks, and wash your hands. Meaning. You're not out of the woods if you had it once. You know, we all, some people are saying, I just wanna get it over with. Like if I could get it and be done with it, that would be great. Now there's a lot of false thinking when it comes to that because you may be able to get it again, we don't know. And you don't know how bad it's gonna be and you don't know the long-term effects. So do your best to not get it, I'm just telling you. So having it once doesn't give you free reign to go out and act as if there is no coronavirus in the world. We don't know how long your immunity will last if you have developed antibodies or other types of immunity. So although many people, including many young kids and teenagers and people in their early 20s are hoping, like I said, to just get it and get it over with, that may not be the case. Only as we look back in, let's say, one to two years, will we have an answer to that question definitively. So. It may not be how we want to start the weekend with a big question mark, but again, wear your mask, wash your hands, social distance, and do all the right things. On that note, I hope you guys have a lot of good stuff planned this weekend. We do. You will see it as I post it over the weekend. Have fun, and I'll see you on Monday for another Live in 5.